uh, censorship has been impacting my life at a very deep level. Um, I became an exilee in, in 1985. And, um, that, that was a, a, a life-changing uh, moment when uh, we were um, opponent to the, the military government in, in Chile. And um, um, that changed my life forever. And um, actually, uh, when you are in the situation of being an opponent to your government, um, you don't realize the consequences of uh, your actions until later on, because uh, you don't know how um, um, your actions are going to impact the political development of your country. And I'm very surprised that, uh, uh, for example, American uh, Youngster don't have absolutely any any passion or any big interest in the process of election, for example, and um, um, it's something that uh, um, is is very difficult for me to understand in the sense of uh, um, uh, how how big the impact of that. Uh, action it has, and the action of a voting or the action of a no voting. So, um, and, and that is something really, really um, amazing to me, um, because uh, I spent um, almost 13 years or 14 years from 1985 to 1998 uh, without the possibility of uh, returning to, to Chile. Uh, because the the political conditions uh, were not um, stable or safe enough, and uh, um, Chile has been changing uh, very much in the last couple of years, and uh, since uh, 1989, when uh, we have a democratic election again, and uh, we went back to um, the traditional democracy that uh, we used to have, and. Um, um, but the, those years of a military government uh, play a big um, role in uh, people's life. So um, it was uh, something really important. The freedom of uh, speech was uh, taken away from us, and um, it changed us forever. And uh, in literature um, today, for example, we have a tremendous struggle to find the right language to explain what happened because in many cases um, um, the horrifying uh, situations were just so big that the, there is no language that can possibly explain what happened. And um, so I, I will say that um, the, the, the censorship is uh, one of the biggest plague of um, this century, because uh, people all over the world has be, uh, are being dislocated just now. I mean, there are people that uh, think in a different way that, and than uh, the government in, in turn, and they have to flee, and they have to move, and they have to become um, exiles um, sometime in their own country. So.